Hi, I'm Sean. Thanks for stopping by today. We're going to talk to you a little bit about how you can help drive sales on your website. These are the 10 things every website must have to drive sales. So my name, like, like I said, is Sean. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of small business. And so for those of you that are starting a small business or thinking about starting a small business, uh, I have a, the utmost admiration for you for the courage that it takes and the creativity it takes to get started. And that's why we're doing those. That's why we're a part of this at GoDaddy and why we really believe that every small business deserves a website and we believe that every small business deserves a website that does something right for them that makes them money. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. How do I turn visitors to my website into customers? right, into the people that, that become part of, part of my network and even into advocates that tell other people about my business. So the three different areas that we're going to focus on, the first one is our homepage. So making sure that that first stop that, that people see when they come to your website, that that first stop uh, really gives them a good idea about what you do. It's your sampler menu, right, and you want to make sure that that's effective. The second thing we're going to talk about is building a relationship of trust, building credibility with customers. Nobody's going to want to do business for somebody that they don't trust, that they're worried is a fly-by-night operation or somebody that's just trying to trick them on the Internet. And then the final thing is how are we going to generate leads? And there are some tactics. There are some things that you can try in order to create a, a, that relationship with your customers because not everybody is ready to buy now but you still, you still want them around. You still want to be able to talk with them and interact with them. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go with uh, tip number one. So tip number one is going to be uh, taking a really good look at our homepage and dissecting it. And the thing that we want to do is use simple, clear navigation. Now, the reason this is important, and you might be thinking like, how, how, <laughs> how is navigation going to help drive sales? Is because you want to make sure that people never get lost on your website. You want to make sure that it's always easy to find the things that might be important to them. And so most customers and most people start with a very simple website and we totally recommend that. What you're looking for are five pages. So you have home, you have about, you have contact, services, and testimonials. And one of the big reasons why you want to keep that simple and why you want to keep that, 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 that easy for people to, to find you um, is because you don't want them to get lost. It's not like pulling them into a casino. You get them inside and, uh, ha-ha, you're stuck here, right? Good luck finding the exit, right? Because your, your, your visitors, all they have to do is just click the back button. All they have to do is, is close the browser window. So when they come here, you make it very simple and very easy to find things so that they can learn about your business because what you want to do is convert them into customers, right? So tip number two, write effective meaningful headline. So you've got one chance when they hit that home page to explain who you are and what you do, right? And headlines are really, really important. And, and one of the reasons they're really important is because we're all lazy readers, right? We just want to see what it is as quickly as possible. So in this particular case, starting an auto reply shop. I got a good friend. She's convinced that I know more about cars than I really do. And so she's, uh, she's put together this website for me, Sean's Auto Repair and Maintenance. Okay, we know what you do. Affordable quality service. Oh, awesome. That, that, that sounds awesome. Family owned and operated in Scottsdale for seven years. Now notice I don't have a lot of other text on this page right now. I don't, I don't, I don't have stories and look at me, I'm on the internet. I'm a genius, right? I don't have that on there. I just have my headline so that people understand very quickly who I am and what I have to offer them. I'm going to be able to get into a little bit more detail on my other pages. But on your home page, you want really clear headlines. And here's a tip for headlines, right? And this is an old journalist tip. So writers <laughs> use this all the time. When writing your headlines, one thing you can try is actually writing it to, to the same cadence or rhythm of a popular nursery rhyme or a song. It's so like Camp Town Races, right? So Camp Town Races, sing this song, do da, do da, right? So in this particular case, I could be like, Sean's Auto Repair is really cool do da do da right you come up with something so you can play with that and it resonates with people it's a trick it's a dirty trick that journalists play on people all the time but those headlines work psychologically that'll help so there's a little tip for you on headlines okay 
So next, we want to determine one, maybe two calls to action. Now, a call to action is the one thing I want you to do. So I've, I've told you what I do, so you get a good idea really quickly. Now, there's something I want you to do once you come to my page. Okay, so I don't tell you what I do and then just leave it there. I want you to take action of some kind. And there are lots of different calls to actions that are out there that we could use and test and, and play with. In this particular case, what I want you to do, I want you to call me. Right? I want you to call me. Call today, get in tomorrow. That's what I want you to do. Now I have a I have another one that's kind of subtle here for my call to action. Get our newsletter for tips and tricks, and we're going to talk about why that's really powerful a little bit later on one of our other tips. But that's my one call to action. So here are some other ones. Here are some other ones that you could try. You could call for a quote, buy now and save, make a reservation, donate, watch a demo, schedule an appointment, register now, call us for more info, right? stop by today. Right? These are all different actions that you can put on your homepage. And you're going to want to make sure that that's, that that's bold, that it's got plenty of space around it, that a person's eye naturally goes to it so that people understand what you want them to do next, right? Make sure that your call to action is right up there in front. And if you have to ask somebody, ask a friend, ask a family member, hey, if you look at this, what do you want to do next, right? They'll tell you. They'll tell you whether or not it's working. They'll tell you whether or not they're going to click on it. So that's the next thing you want to get on there, right? Because then that will help direct them into becoming customers to drive sales so that you can make more money as a small business. Okay, the next thing we want to do, we're getting into building a relationship of, of trust and credibility. So on the internet now, like with a website, you don't have that opportunity to look somebody in the eye and shake their hand so that they know that you mean business, so that they can trust you, so they can see, oh, you are, you're totally somebody that I want to do business with and I want to give you my money and I, I, I totally want to use your service your, and, and, and buy the, the, the awesome things that you create. Okay, so your story becomes a great opportunity to explain to them exactly who you are and what your vision is. So in this particular case, I put a picture on here of, 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 my, of, of my kids, right? Down, uh, they're, they're driving crazy up across the border, and uh, I hope that they're not actually driving. I hope this is posed. And so, but why choose us? This is my opportunity to talk about, you know, my, my family. This is my opportunity to talk about what we do. This is my opportunity to talk about why we're in business. And the why we're in business isn't so we can take your money, right? That's not why we're in business. We're trying to establish that credibility, that relationship of trust with you. We're in business because we saw a need for a unique service. And we want to tell you about it. We want to be passionate about it. So use pictures, right? Use, use, use your story. Be honest. Be candid. And tell people why you do what you do. Why are you unique? You know, why, why do you have something special to offer them? so that you can create that, 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 that group of people that really believe in you. We're all rooting for you, right? So who are you? Why did you start your business? Be passionate, add pictures, and add a video. We're going to talk about video a little bit later, but video is really, really powerful, especially when you're telling your story. And for a lot of you, it's going to be a lot easier than writing your story if you can just record yourself talking into the camera, right? Tip number five, and, and this is the next tip in building credibility with your customers, are to gather and publish customer testimonials. And this is really, really, really powerful, right? This, is, this has customers talking about how cool you are or, or how great your service is instead of you, right? So it's one of those, those opportunities to say, you know, don't take my word for it, right? Listen to these guys. <laughs> these guys think we're great, right? And so these really work in building that, that trust and credibility on your website and then in helping convert customers. You know, 63% of, of visitors to your site that, that see testimonials on there are more apt to do business with you. They're more likely to purchase from you when they see that others have had a good experience with you. So, I, so on our site, right, we publish the testimonials. Of course, I got five stars on, uh, on my service, although of course, of course, <laughs> five stars all the way down. Now, a, a common question is, where, where do I get testimonials? Where can I find testimonials, right? And the easiest, the easiest way to get testimonials are to ask customers what they think about you. So if somebody comes into your restaurant, they come into your business, or, 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 or they work with you, just ask them how the experience was. Ask them how the food was. Ask them how the service was. Ask them how your, your consultative, like, ask them. 
right? And as they give you the answers and you get those good testimonials and, and people that have had a good experience working with you, ask them if you can publish it on, on your website. At nine times out of 10, they're going to be more than happy, more than happy to have you quote them online, right? Because it's, it's kind of like being famous, right? You get, you get put on somebody's website. There's your picture, there's your line, right? So ask them, ask them how they're doing. And if you sell things online, right, ask, ask the customers after they purchase, send them an email. And when you send them that email, have them fill out a form. And in there, it just ask them how things went, right? Ask them whether they were happy with the service or not. And allow them to talk about you, right? And then you can use those testimonials on your site. Now, another way to find out what customers are saying about you, and another way to find testimonials for your website, is to sign up for a lot of the free business directories that are online. And so these are, these are these there's, there's, there's a lot of them where they're, they're reviewing websites, they're whether well, they're reviewing businesses, customers are reviewing businesses, uh, Google Places, Bing Local, uh, Yahoo Local, Yelp, Merchant Circle, LinkedIn, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Angie's List, City Search. Some of these are familiar to you. Some of these, you have seen this before, right? So we've got Google Places on here and we've got Yelp on here. And so this is where customers go and they're rating your business. They're probably rating your business right now and commenting on it. So you want to sign up for that and make sure that you're that that's your business so you can have that conversation with them on those sites but that also gives you a chance to get those testimonials and get those good testimonials now there's one other great reason to sign up for these how, how many of you have been you you've been online searching for a business you type it in and it pulls up the business and it shows a map over on the side and and on the side you can click on it and you get even more information about that business even before you go to their website well, that's exactly what happens on Google Places or on Yelp. So here's an example on Google Places. On Google Places, this isn't the Air Park Auto Service website. This is Google Places. So over in the corner, I can see that there's a map. I can see reviews down here in the bottom, right? So this gives you kind of like a, another mini website. Now, it's not the only place you want to be online because you want to link back to your actual website where your branding is and your story is and everything else that's going on. Right, but this is becomes really, really powerful as another source for people to find you. The same thing happens when you look up a business on your phone. You see those reviews automatically come through. So register for those free services. Make sure that you're on there and you're conversing with those customers and building that network. And then that's going to give you more of those testimonials and more of those ratings to put on your website. Okay, the next step into to building, uh, building credibility is to add badges logos and certi uh, certification. This is different for, for all different types of businesses. In our particular case, because it, in our example, it's an, it's an auto store, right? I've got uh, Better Business Bureau, I've got AAA, I've got Napa, I've got, these are, these are logos that customers trust. So when they see that on a website, they trust it. They know that there's been a third party source that has verified that this is good stuff. That, 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 you are, that, you're, that you're honest, that you provide good service, because you've had to negotiate and get these deals. So if you're uh, a massage therapist, that you're licensed, and where are you licensed, right? If I, if I sell windows for a living, is there a particular brand or a particular, uh, a particular company that I work closely with so that I'm a certified partner, right? These are all great logos and badges to put on your website to build trust with your customers. Now, if you're an online store, if you're an online store, you want to put somewhere on here, right, that, that, that doing business with you is secure, right? So there are badges for the SSL, right? We've got a badge at GoDaddy. It goes right on there and right down there at the bottom. The customers know, hey, there's an SSL. There's a secure certificate on here. It's, it's fancy talk for, hey, your credit card information is completely secure on our website. Put that badge on there so that people know, so they know that you care about their privacy. They know that they, you care about their safety, right? And that builds that trust. That builds that trust moving forward. Okay, the next thing, remove risk. So offer a guarantee. And this, because you're working on the internet and they haven't met you face to face, this is one of those really easy ways to make sure that they know that they can trust you. And even better, this is a way for you to be really proud and confident about what you do. Right, because basically what you're saying when you offer a guarantee or you, you, you offer an easy way for you to do business with you if things don't work out, is, hey, listen, what I do, you're going to really, really love. Like, you're going to be totally amazed by what we're going to do for you. And if you're not, then we're going to make it right. 
we're going to make sure that you're okay in the end. That's really powerful, right? So on our site, right, we've got our warranty on there. If you do business with us, it's in writing. Here's our warranty, right? And here's our price guarantee. So if you're a store online and you're selling things, you're going to have a, a, a return policy, right? An easy way for them to send something back and get that money in return. Like you're making it very, very safe to do business with you. Like think about it from their perspective. Think about the questions that they might have for you. How are you going to make it safe to do business with you. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Number eight, we're starting to get into the lead generation. And that's a, a fancy way to say, hey, hey, you're not ready to buy now, right? But uh, maybe you have some friends that are, right, interested in our service, or maybe you'll be ready to buy or do business with us later. So you want to take that information and, and curate, keep it, and keep those contacts and keep that connection with your potential customers. And the easiest way to do that with a website is to gather email addresses. Now, you can't just publish on your, I mean, I guess you could just publish, hey, give me your email address, right? You want to give them something in return. So in our case, and you guys saw this at the beginning, right, I've got the get your newsletter for tips and special savings. So I'm going to send a newsletter to you if you give me an email, and I'm going to make sure that that newsletter, you haven't seen it yet, but when you do, is valuable to you. So I'm going to have special savings. I'll have a coupon in there. I'll have a promo. I'll have something like that, right? Because, because, because I, I care about you. I want your business. I want you to work with me. But I'm also going to put something of value in there, like tips and tricks, like how often to change your oil or tips and tricks on, uh, on unscrewing that, that really difficult nut down at the bottom if you want to do it yourself, right? I'm going to put things like that in there for you because that's what I said, right? I'm going to give you tips on how to do this type of stuff. And what that does is that customer hasn't bought from me yet, but you know, maybe once, maybe twice a month, they're going to get a newsletter from me with valuable information to them. So the next time that they do need their oil changed, or the next time they need tires, or the next time that they need anything for their car, they're going to remember me because they're part of that network that I'm creating, right? So they can come back to me. So email addresses become really even more powerful if you invest in an email marketing tool. So at GoDaddy, we have Express Email Marketing. And, and what this does for you is this enables you to add a web form to the website, like we had there on the previous slide. We, we were able to put the, the, the actual fill-in, type in your email, and it will go automatically to another program, right, so that I can manage those email addresses. It's going to store all of those. It's going to make my emails pretty that I send to everybody, so it's not just the plain text. I can, I can put my logo up in the corner. I can use specific colors or font so they know that it's from me. And this is where it gets really powerful. It's going to allow me to create targeted messages for my customers. And, and here's how that works, right? A good email marketing tool like Express Email Marketing, what it will do is it will also allow you to, to, to survey your customers. So I can send it out and find out who you are. I can send it out and, and find out what type of people are interested in doing business with me? So as an, as an auto store, maybe I've got a group of people that they just work on muscle cars all the time and they totally know what they're doing and they don't need any help changing their oil, okay? So I find out that's who they are from, from asking them these questions when I send them the emails. And then I've got another group of people that are the, the soccer moms, right? They just want their oil changed. They just want the tires. Well, there's probably a few of them that also work on muscle cars, but, but for the most part, that's the way that it's set up, okay? Now, I can now, based on that information, using the email marketing tool, I can send different emails to them so that I can target them, so that I can send certain deals over to the soccer moms and send different deals over to the muscle car fanatics. Really powerful stuff and totally worth investing in. And then once I send those out, I can find out how many people open their emails. I can find out how many people clicked on the links in those emails. Right? And that tells me whether or not they're successful. I can try different strategies until I do figure out what works so I can keep them in contact and build that network. Okay, the next tip, and this is one that many, many, many of you are playing around with now, and it's, it's integrating with social media. And we're going to talk specifically about Facebook and Twitter. These are both really powerful ways to, to create that network. So we're talking about email. Well, not everybody, not everybody uses email the same way. And for a lot of people, they don't, they don't like getting email on this type of stuff. But they're more than willing, once they find out who you are, and once they read your story, and once you've built that trust, they're more than willing to click like 
right? They're more than willing to click on your website and say, this is awesome. I love that he's doing this. This is great stuff. And so once they click like on there, you now have a way to communicate with them on Facebook. Because once they click like, now you can send them messages. Now they can follow what you're doing in your business. So as you have promotions, as you, as you have, have new things that you want to do, as you have you know, the big party events where the radio station is going to come down to the store, right? they're going to know about that stuff, even if they haven't purchased with you already. And the flip side to that is once they click like, all of their friends also see that they like you and they like your business. And if they're legit, right, then their friends will see and go, oh, yeah, well, Sean, he's totally cool. I wonder why he likes that business. Let me take a look at it. And they become your marketing team for you. So, again, you're creating that, that, that network, that tribe, right? And Twitter works the same way. Make it really easy for somebody to tweet about your business from your website. So you add those icons to your website so they can share with their friends, you guys, check this out. You're not going to believe what this guy's doing, right? So as you have that unique vision, that unique story, you've got other people that will share it for you. Okay, the final tip, number 10. We're down to the very end. Offer visitors something special. So, of course, you want to offer them something special just by your business being awesome, right? Just by creating a really great small business. But in this particular case, on your website, you should offer them something unique to your website. So what this means basically is, is in this particular case, I, I have a special that I'm offering only on my website. So for the month of April, get a free 10-point tune-up with every oil change. All you have to do is mention you saw the deal on our website. Okay. Now you see what I did there at the very end there? All you have to do is mention you saw the deal on our website. So now what this does, and this is what, this, what this will do is to help drive sales, obviously, is I've offered something really cool for, for these customers, so then they're going to come in and use my service. That's great. A coupon, a promo, a special deal, a, a buy one, get one free, right? Or a, fr a free uh, pipe wrench with every battery that you purchase, right? That's cool. That's going to get them to come in. But the other side of this is this allows me to test the success of my website. So now when somebody comes in and they say, hey, I saw that ad on your website, you're like, oh, there's one, right? Somebody else comes in, hey, I saw that ad on your website, that special deal, right? Okay, there's two. So this allows you to track. And you can do this with everything. You can do this with the emails that you send out, right? So you put a unique code on there or something you want them to say. Or when they click on a link, if you sell things online and it takes you to the store, you can track that promo code. You can track that number that gets attached to it. So you can see what's successful. And then as you find out what's successful, you can do more of the same so that you can make more money, right? So test everything. Test all the stuff that, that, that I shared with you today, all those 10 points. Test them. Change them. Try new things to see whether or not they work. And then you measure the success of it, okay? Now I've got a bonus tip for you, right? I know we got to 10, and then you're like, oh, good, this is finally over. No, I've got one more, and this one's important. This one's huge. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay, you got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah. There's your hint, <laughs> right? Use video. Now, the, here's where video is really, really powerful. Sixty percent of customers who find video on a small business website, they watch them. Right? That's that's awesome. Out of the number of people that hit a web page and see there's a whole bunch of text and oh look, there's Sean's story and they're like, ah, oh, I've got to read. If they see that circle with the triangle in it, they will click on it. We are like moths to the flame, right? Oh, I totally want to see what this is. And that means that they're going to stay on your website for how much longer? Two minutes? Three minutes? And what are the chances of them really finding out what your story is or hearing those customer testimonials if they're video? They're higher, right? So use video, right? Use video on your site. And you don't have to overthink that. That can be with your iPhone and a, and a little tripod, right, just to keep everything steady. But you can use video to, uh, to, uh, to pull in customers and, and keep them. So every small business deserves a website that makes them money. So just for you, right, we've got a 10-point inspection. And, and see how we did that, right? We had the 10-point inspection on the tune-up type of thing, and now we've got this for all of you. So here you can go and download this worksheet. Fill it out, and it will give you a good idea of where you are 
on laying the foundation and, and putting those tactics into place on your website to drive sales. Okay, and as you fill this out and you circle yes or no for those 10 points, there's a, there's a rating down there at the bottom with some possible next steps. And if you fill this out and you find out, hey, I'm looking really good, maybe it's time for you to move on to some next steps, some other really powerful things that you could do on your website. And if you fill this out and you're somewhere in the middle, pick one thing, pick two things that you could do this week. Write your story to put on there. Work on a, a different call to action. Right? S put somewhere on your website a place to gather emails from your customers. And if you fill this out and you find out like, oh man, I've got a long ways to go, right? In that particular case, just give us a call. We've got somebody here that will help you 24 seven. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for taking time out today to learn about this and uh, good luck out there.